Thankfully, this year, Cole Borgstrom had no issues. Uh, everything was fine, and uh, inspection went perfectly. But his girlfriend wasn't so lucky when she got her car inspected last week. It cost uh, almost $900, shocks, windows, and ball bearings. They can't afford the repairs, so they've both been driving his. The state of Vermont is working to update its inspection requirements that haven't changed since 2013. Many rules right now that would make a car fail aren't directly related to safety. What they're doing is going in and changing um, some of the wording just to kind of help clarify exactly what it is they're looking for. Chris Legu is the general manager of Partner Tire and Service in Colchester. He says one big change that could save people money is the tire pressure management system. If the low tire pressure light is on, the car fails. The cause could be a number of things, with repair costs starting at about $100. And that's at the easy side of it. If it happens to be the control module, uh, the price goes way up. To as much as $500 plus labor. But instead of failing the car, mechanics would recommend having the system fixed. Another is your sun visor. Right now, if you're missing one of these, you're going to fail your inspection, and just to replace the part alone could be $100 or $150. Under the new plan, mechanics would just pass along that it's missing. That's the case, too, if a car has no front license plate. The mechanic would say that's against the law. The new inspection manual is going through a review process and should be in place by the end of the year. So remember to keep up car repairs to stay safe on the road.